Hi guys, it's Sherry. Today we are going to be creating this gorgeous set. Look at this necklace. Absolutely stunning. And the earrings, just gorgeous. And everything is double-sided. It is so simple to create. You will be amazed on how easy. So if you continue watching this video and you like it, please subscribe right away so you don't miss any more videos. Let's get started. Hi guys, it's Sherry. So today we are going to be making some beads and I am gonna show you a really fast, easy way to make beads. I've been playing around with this and I figured I would share this with you. So I cut out four pieces of my Primo black clay and this is rolled out to my third thickest setting. And basically I just need enough room to cover each one of these three pieces on this silk screen. And this silk screen is also from Create Along and I am just loving these three little areas and I'm thinking beads. So first thing we are going to do is lay it down and I want to go right over it. And I kind of already got paint on my um, squeegee so I am just gonna use that up right away and just press that white paint right onto that silk screen. And I just wanna make sure that it's nice and coated. And then I will lift up and there is one. And I'm going to kind of separate these because I don't want my silk screen touching this one. So I will carefully lay this right back down onto my next one. Just press down. I'm just going to make sure it's kind of right in place. I will get more paint. Put that on there. Get my squeegee again, and then I am going to, once again, cover my piece. Okay, so now rinse out your silk screen right away. And then we will let this dry and we'll go on to the next step. All right, so now my pieces are dry. And my next step is I have a scrap piece of clay here. And I am actually going to double this up. This was rolled out on my third thickest setting. I'm doubling it. And I am going to cut out six of these. Okay, so just use a small round cutter and then you get your six um, scrap pieces of clay. And then I am going to take my cutter here. It has like a flower edge and I'm gonna go around very carefully. And I'm gonna cut these out. I just want to line everything up nicely. And we'll start with these. And then I'm going to take my piece. I'm going to put my scrap clay in here. And then I will line this up. And then I will put my edges together. I'm 
Very, very easy way to make a bead. And I'm just pinching my edges. I'm gonna make sure my edges are nice. You can see everything is nicely put together, nice and sealed. All right, so now we'll do this one. What I really like about these beads is you could put make a necklace with these. You could do earrings with these. There's um, put them on a bracelet, make a bracelet with them. There's so many different things you could do with these particular beads, and they're super easy and quick to make. All right, guys, so there are six beads that we did. And how simple is that? So our last step, I'm going to make that a little bit more round. Our last step is to add our little eyelets. So if you want to make an earring, you just take your eyelet and you go straight in like this. And that could be an earring. So let's make this into earrings, these two. So we have a pair of matching earrings. I want to make sure they're the same exact size. Okay. And if you want to do, say, a necklace, Take this, go in that side, and just go straight across, make sure you're even. And then you could go right in that side, and then that'll be an area you could connect. If you do a bracelet, you could do the same exact thing. So this could be put on like that for a bracelet. All right, guys, so now let's put this in the oven. I'm gonna, this is Primo clay, so it'll be at 275. I'll bake these because they are thick. So I'm going to bake these for a full hour and then we'll come back and I'll show you how to lastly um, glue everything in and we'll make these little earrings and potentially make this into a necklace. Okay guys, so my pieces are out of the oven. I kind of jumped ahead so you wouldn't have to watch me do all of them. But look how beautiful they are. I think these are going to be fantastic. Um, as these were in the oven, I kind of came up with some ideas of what we could do. And the first step you're going to do after they get out of the oven is you are going to get your Sculpey gloss glaze and just brush it over each one of your pieces and let them dry. And then they will get this gorgeous shine right over them just absolutely beautiful so that's all you have to do with that all right so then what i decide to do was i am going to add 
a gold chain. I was going to do silver initially, but I thought that the blue would really make these pieces pop, and I love them. So we are changing all our eyelets, which are silver, to gold. So for the earrings, take out your eyelet, get your gold eyelet, and then get a blue bead. Put that on. And then just get your super glue, stick it in there. And then, where's my little hole? Stick it right back into the hole. You're gonna make sure it's facing the correct direction because once it's super glued, you cannot change it. And there, I mean, look how beautiful that is. It's gonna be absolutely gorgeous. So this one, all I'm doing is putting just replacing the eyelets with gold eyelets. And just stick it right back in the hole. So just do that with each one of your pieces. If you get any super glue that kind of sticks out, like pops out of there, just wipe it off. And then that's all you need to do. So make sure you do that with all your pieces there. Our next step is to get a few more of these little gold eyelets. All right, so now you're gonna take your eyelet and get your round needle nose pliers. You will take your bead, put it on, bend it one direction, and then you are going to take it and bend it in the opposite direction. Okay. Do that with all your beads. Okay, so we have those finished. So with our earrings, we'll finish those first because these are real simple. All we're gonna do is put our fish hook earrings on. And to do that, you just open up your fish hook, decide which one, they're both exactly the same, so it doesn't really matter. And then close it. And there is your earring. Look how stunning that is. Such a simple, simple earring using this silk screen and just adding a beautiful bead and you have this gorgeous earring. I mean, just absolutely beautiful. There's the opening right there. So opening, put that on. Those. and now we have a pair of earrings so for the necklace what I want to do with this is first I want to decide how exactly I want to place these so I'm just gonna go you know each one opposite you could do kind of like that if you want but I'm just gonna go opposite of each one now for these beads I want to reopen them Where's my opening? Right there. And then I am going to put my bead that I made on there. And I am just going to add each one. Let me see. And then just reclose it. And these are double-sided, so you cannot 
mess these up, which is what I love about this. Okay, now we have our beads on, and now we wanna get our chain. So for the chain, let me get this out of the way. Let's see how long this is. So it's about 10 and a half inches. So I want to remove that extra chain I have there. Get my cutters. Okay, so to make sure that I'm getting the right size that I want, I wrap this around the back of my neck, okay? And then after I wrap it around my neck, I see where I want to end it, and then I kind of place this up on the top to kind of get a general idea of how exactly I want to do it. So, Maya came to 32 centimeters. So, I am going to go right in the half, which is 16 for one side, and then I will do another 16. Go right to another 16. And I will take this. I will open it. And I will add, oops, let me get that little extra piece off. We'll add that right onto there. And then I will reclose my piece. Okay. This has an extra little link on it that I don't want on here. Come off. Let me see. There we go. Okay. So now I'm going to get my jump ring. And I also need my clasp. So take your jump ring, open it, place it in there, Put your clasp on. Make sure it's completely closed. Come on. Okay. And then do your next jump ring. Open that one.
And that's it, guys. Look how gorgeous. I mean, very simple to create. I absolutely love this. I mean, just look how stunning that is. And the earrings, so simple, so easy. Everything is double-sided. You can wear it any direction. You don't have to worry about it. Just so easy and simple. I love it. If you create this piece, please share it on my Facebook page. I did start that page just for you guys to share your work with me and to see what videos will be coming up next. It's um, called Share Bears Gifts, Palmer Clay Community. So please do not hesitate to share your work. I would love to see what you guys create. And if you like this, please like, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.